stalled out all the way in the Cambridge, in the Cesarovich, sponsored this year by the Tote, and run over two miles and a furlong. And the 25 runners streaking away round the far side of the national stud and the early running, of course, totally out of view of the grandstands. But as the fields begin, the field begins to settle down amongst the early leaders, I can see Meadowbrook right up there. El Conquistador is very prominent, so too is Dunstan on the inside. And it's Dunstan on the inside, Floyd in the center spot, his white face, then Meadowbrook, close up after these leaders, races Marlion, not far off the pace is Ibn Majid, Milton Byrne is up there too, but it's Dunstan and Floyd, the two leaders, followed by Meadowbrook, now the prudent prince, and they've covered the first two and a half furlongs now in the Cesarewitch, with on the inside, Dunstan in company with Floyd, then Meadowbrook, right after these, the prudent prince, then races Marlion, behind Marlion, Actinium up on the outside, and very prominent is Milton Byrne, They've covered roughly four and a half furlongs now, and it's still Dunstan with the white cap under Steve Dawson making the running in the Cesarewitch, closely followed by Floyd and Tony McLean, the previous anti-post favorite. Then in three, Meadowbrook, four, the Prudent Prince. After these five is El Conquistador, six, Marlin, seven is Actinium. And they've now covered roughly six furlongs of the Cesarewitch, and still it's Dunstan who's made most of the running so far, number 20, followed by Floyd. On the outside with a white noseband is Meadowbrook, then comes the Prudent Prince El Conquistador, Actinium, and then Marlin on the inside, special vintage in the spotted white cap, then Ibn Majid, and they've now covered the first seven furlongs. So they've now got a mile and a quarter to go, and it's Dunstan, Floyd, and Meadowbrook, still one, two, three, El Conquistador, and in the yellow with a red cap on the inside, the Prudent Prince. And they're now roughly nine furlongs from the finish, so they're almost at halfway in the Tote Cesarewitch. And as they make round this rail part of the course, it's still Dunstan leading from Floyd. Dunstan, Floyd, Meadowbrook, the Prudent Prince, and El Conquistador. These are the leaders. And re reading back behind them towards the centre of the field races Orange Hill in company with Pactolus, then the second favourite sneak preview, the 17 to 2 chance, but it's Misrule, the 11 to 2 favourite, then sneak preview and Pactolus both at 17 to 2. Tens bar the three and they're now inside the final seven furlongs they're all racing against the far rails and it's floyd just from dunstan really nothing between these two with meadowbrook three then comes the prudent prince actinium and marlian followed by ibn margin special vintage accuracy makes ground now still there is milton burn then shivan making headway packed to us not far behind then comes withy bank orange hill the favorite miss rule comes next with fedra and then el conquistador then parry peggy carolyn blink for the first time then sneak pre View and fish pond. These are followed by Contester and Ayers Rock and the last three, Sweet Alexandra and the two Greys past Sister and Harleston Lake. Racing now towards the final half mile and it's time now to go back to the grandstands and Graham. As Marlion comes to take up the running from <clears throat> accuracy in the yellow jacket making ground down the centre of the track with the white cap is Withy Bank with the black cap is Orange Hill behind these Peggy Carolyn. Spotted colours of special vintage not that far away either. Just over two to go and it's accuracy now who strikes the front. Accuracy from Orange Hill. Withy Bank passes to the grey and behind starts to make ground. Marlion next to the rails. Miss Rule tracks that one. They've got a furlong and a half to go and it's Orange Hill and Marlion and accuracy and Miss Rule from Peggy Carolyn. Withy Bank, Withy Bank uh, making good ground is Paul's sister inside the final furlong and it's Orange Hill now in the lead from Marley and Misfall next to the rails behind these comes Accuracy and Paul's sister but it's Orange Hill in the lead as it comes towards the line Orange Hill by half a length by a length Orange Hill wins it Orange Hill Marley and Misfall from Accuracy Paul's sister then Peggy Carroll and Withy Bank Sweet Alexander Actinium Fedra Special Vintage Ibn Majid Fish Pond Airs Rock Behind these came Milton Byrne, Contesta, Pactolus, Meadowbrook, Halston Lake, Sneak Preview, El Conquistador, Dunstan, the Prudent Prince, Floyd, and last of all, in fact, virtually pulled up, was Shibben. And so the outcome of this Toad Cesarowicz, it's a win for number 23, Orange Hill, owned by Mr. Bob McCreary, trained at Marlborough by Jeremy Tree, and ridden by Richard Fox to give Richard Fox his ninth winner of the season. Officially a photo for second place between Marlion in the red cap, ridden by Nicky Carlisle. Also in the red cap, but next to the rails is 21, Miss Rule. After these, accuracy and the grey path sister, who made up a lot of late ground, but I'm afraid to say for her.